we're all done with the single wide trailer project. We just finished it up today. I'm going to explain these beam pockets because people have been asking me about them. Um, with a single wide trailer or a double wide, you need to put beams across the foundation so that the main beams of the home sit on the cross beams. So I'll show you how we did it. So we went from an 8 inch wall to a 4 inch wall and then we cut the foam out of here and you got like a 4.5-5 inch bearing surface for your beam to sit on. So it worked out pretty good. Otherwise you would need some kind of pilaster or something. So that's how we handled that. We got seven beam pockets all the way across. So there's going to be seven beams going across the foundation. Those beams are 8 inch and the house beams are 12 inch. So that's going to equal your 18 inches of your Nadura block is 18 inches. So um, that'll work out pretty good. No, it's 20 inches. So with your top plate, we'll have a top plate. And we're gonna have 20 inches with our beams, our 12 inch beam and our 8 inch beam. Um, get a video of that entrance way there. Just kind of walk around. Finished product, walk around. Oh, yeah. Got a peel and stick membrane on there, so uh, really waterproof. Didn't have any moisture problems. Everything goes down over the footer, so you don't have any water getting underneath your footer. All right.